What's up, guys? What's up, guys? The XD Experience here. We got something we're going to do today. This is the uh, Brew Demon. I want to thank you guys over at Brew Demon for sending us a kit to check out. We're going to be making some beer today. We're going to be doing, this is going to be a two-part video. This part will be an unboxing, as well as brewing, and uh, pitching the yeast, getting everything sanitized, getting the yeast pitched in. And then our second video will be the bottling and the uh, taste test. Yay. It's going to take about a week and a half or so for us to get this to the point where we got to bottle. It says, says you can do it in seven days. Best if you wait two weeks. We're going to wait ten. And then there goes my life. Yeah, that's okay. And then we're going to go from there. So we're going to do this it. This is my first time. It's your first time? Yeah, it's my first time. So, yeah, we're going to crack everything <laughs> out of this box and we're going to show you guys everything up close on what it is and uh, we'll be right back. Alright, so we just unboxed everything, guys. What you see here is what comes in the box. You have your this is going to be your tube that you're going to end up using to um, bottle your beer. We're not even going to need that today. That can get set aside. Large mixing spoon, which is good for getting inside the, the jug there. I'm excited. I get to make brownies afterwards. This here is, this goes to this, and this attaches to here, and then this will attach to the spigot, which then you push in on this. You see this here? Yeah. So once we do get the bottle in, you take this, push it in, and that pressure fills up the bottle. You take it out, you put your sugar in. Cap it, let it sit for another week or so. Does it come with sugar? Um, no, that's the one thing it doesn't come with, but that's fine because everybody yeah. has sugar in the house. So you get you get your, your bottle of wine, wine, you get your bottle and tube, your spoon, you get your instructions here, which walk you through everything is super, super easy when you walk when you get the instructions here. Um, if you can make brownies out of a box, you can make this kit. So we're gonna go. This is an extract kit too, which we'll get to here. This is uh, the assembly on the kit, which I'll show you how to assemble it all here in a second. But they come with labels. They come with labels, or you can just use them as stickers, however you want to do it. So they do come with eight labels, enough enough for each one liter bottle. Uh, they're plastic, but that's fine. It'll work. Um, you get your uh, coupon thing here. And then you get this thing here telling you that everything must be sanitized, which that's the key to making beers. Everything has to be sanitized. If it's not clean, it won't it won't ferment. It, you'll get an infection in your yeast, and it won't, it'll just taste like what shit. What if I drink infested yeast? You'll just, it'll just taste nasty. Okay. All right, so with the bottles, you get eight caps. You get the eight caps as, as well here. Then you move on, we got our extract here. You, this is an IPA that we're gonna be brewing, a uh, Brew Demon Signature Series IPA. Um, you get two cans of this, which is nice, because some of the kits you get will just be like the one can of malt and then a can of booster, which is basically just sugar. Um, which is what your yeast will react with later. But you know, with the IPA and the Signature Series, they give you two cans of the, uh, the IPA extract. And underneath, you'll see is your brewing yeast, two packets of brewing yeast. That, that will get set aside. We'll use, we'll use that at the end once we pitch our yeast. Now we're gonna put this together. And, but before we do that, we're gonna take these two cans and we're just gonna soak them in some warm water just to help the, um, it's like a syrup in there. Oh, okay. So what you wanna do is you just want that syrup to kind of get like uh, loose. So when you pour it into your pot, which we're gonna do here in a few minutes, we'll show you guys how to do that. Once you pour your, um, your once you have that heated up, it makes it just easier to pour. So we'll set that aside. Also, you get your uh, one step sanitizer here, which is what we're gonna to use to sanitize yeah, everything in this kit. Yeah, it's just sanitizer. You get a, a stick-on thermometer, which is nice because you have to have the, the um, it's called wart. Once you mix it up and turn it in, before you pitch your yeast, it's going to be wart, but it has to be a certain temperature. It can't be too hot, can't be too cold, or the yeast won't react. So we're going to stick that on there in a bit. You also get your your uh, your spigot here, which we're going to attach here in a second. Should I do it right now, actually? Now, the, key, the th one thing to remember when you're attaching this is you want to make sure there's no leaks. So once we attach it, and we go to sanitize, we're going to check it and make sure we're going to run some sanitizer through the spigot as well just to make sure that there's no leaks in that because you don't want you won't, don't want your wart leaking out and, or anything getting in and then all of a sudden, you know, you end up with, with a, like I said, a bad batch. So you want to make sure this is on there nice and tight and facing down. All right, so once you got your, uh, your spigot attached here to your, um, to your fermenter, um, you got your stand that comes with it, you put the legs together and it's good good to go. So you got that. We're going to take and we're going to, this is going to be your cap. We're going to sterilize that before we even do anything. Does that go on the bottom? That goes up top here. Oh. This here is going to be your lid. It's going to go on top. We're going to make sure that's sterile. As well as the lid seal. As well as the stopper uh, for your airlock. And you're going to make sure you, put your, you do your airlock right because that's going to allow the CO2 to release out of the beer while it's fermenting. You don't want... You, you want it to go somewhere. Um, you can use this, but actually we're not even gonna use this. 
It's an option for this. You can use this and not this, but this is a better way. So we're gonna use this instead of that. Okay. Um, and that's a nice thing. So what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna go, go check, we put four, I'll show you guys. All right, so now what we got going is we got a pot with four cups of water boiling. It's almost to a boil now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and sterilize all this stuff uh, now. That way we can go ahead and once we this gets up to a boil, we're gonna turn that off. We're gonna take the cans that have been soaking in the warm water and we're gonna add it to this, mix it in with the spoon once that's sterilized. Like I said, you wanna keep everything nice, nice and clean. We're gonna sterilize that now. And uh, basically, you wanna read the instructions for that? <clears throat> One step, no rinse cleaner. Instructions, mix one tablespoon per one gallon of water. Right. Keep out of reach of children. Okay, so we got that. And now what we're gonna do is uh, we, got our, we got our thermometer on, on, on here now, as you can see, we got our thermometer so we can see the temperature. We got the air, don't put that in there yet. We got the airlock. Got the airlock, we need that lid, you want to grab that lid. And then we got the airlock here. I'm just gonna get it all set up so that way once we get going, everything is ready to go. There's no um, delay or anything. All right, so once, let me see the lid. What I'm gonna to do too to make this even easier is this should be sealed. We'll run some water through it first. And then, uh, I should grab that red cap. We're gonna use that for one more second. One, one thing we're gonna use that for, and that's the sterilization part of it all. We're gonna take this, we're just gonna kind of give it a good rinse just to get it kind of somewhat clean here. And then we're gonna add the, um, the uh, solution to that. <laughs> so how much for one gallon? Mix one tablespoon per one gallon. We're gonna put a gallon of water in here, roughly, to start. So. Got a little bit of water in there. What we're gonna do too is we're gonna take and we're gonna drop all this stuff in there so that way we can sanitize it all in one shot. You don't wanna put this? no. Oh. You don't wanna put anything sharp in the um, in here because it is plastic and you don't want like uh, people use scissors and stuff, you don't want it to poke or anything else. You don't want to use anything sharp. But once we uh, so go ahead and you can add however much it says that. How much does it say that? One tablespoon. That's the teaspoon, so we need a tablespoon. Put a little bit in, in there. This is a no rinse. This much? Yeah. Yep. Drop it in. in. There. <laughs> it's a no rinse solution, so um, the good thing about it is. More? Nah, it's fine. Good thing about the no rinse is you don't have to rinse it out. So, what we're going to do now is we're just going to take this, we're going to put the cap on nice and tight. This will get the cap and everything sanitized. We're just going to kind of slosh it around a little bit. Just to make sure everything gets on there, everything gets sanitized and cleaned out really well. Um, make sure our spigot isn't leaking. We're going to run a little bit of water through that as well. Just to make sure that that's nice and, and sterile and clean. Do you have to run all the water through? No. Just so we're going to give that another rinse. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that in there for a minute while we go ahead and uh, and mix our, um, we do need to sterilize the spoon. Should I get the cans? Uh, in one second. Okay. Yeah. He's sterilizing. You gotta make sure this stuff's all. It's like witchcraft. I'm just gonna use the spoon and we're gonna kind of make sure that everything in there gets nice and sterile. The spoon itself. Alright, so take that. So everything that touches the actual. Anything that touches your beer once it's fermented, you want it to be sterile. So okay. we're gonna take that since it's sterile and set it right over there so that's sterile. We're actually, I'm gonna it just because. Put that in there for a minute. Just kind of let that get nice and clean. So that's clean. Now what we're gonna do is this water's almost to a boil. Gonna take these two cans. Hot. Uh, they're warm. Open it's sticky, them? yeah. So you're gonna open them, you're pour them in there. It's sticky, so be careful. It is kind of oozy, so you wanna just kind of take that over there. So go ahead and start pouring it in slow. We're gonna mix it. Oh, we want to turn off the water, the boil, boil at that point. Just gonna, yeah, we don't want it to scorch, so we're going to take this and just keep adding it in slowly. Make sure all that. This is going to be the sugars that are going to um, start fermenting with your beer. So you want all that stuff to, to get in. That makes the alcohol, right? The sugars is what makes the alcohol, yes. Yeah, so we're going to make sure we get all that out of there. And uh, another good trick, too, is. See it? Mm -hmm. um, get it all out of there. And then. 
another good thing to do is once you stir this in, you can take you can take some of this this hot water here and add it back into it, and just kind of swish it around. Kind of gets it all all out of there. And make sure you get all that out. That like you need you need that sugar to. Uh, oh, I opened this one too, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure we get as much of that out of there as we can. This is an extract here, like I said, it's not an all grain, so. What is that? All grain is where you boil the, you boil your grains and uh, so you actually do your hops okay. and you do a, a little bit more work. So start pouring that in there slow. We'll just mix it in as we go. I'm so happy. Keep stirring that in. You don't want it to stick or get, you know, you want just to heat up real nice and even because we're, then we're going to take this pot and we're going to add it to our fermenter. Should we let it cool down? We will. Oh, okay. You'll see. We're going to be adding cold water to it. So okay, you might want to do the water thingy. smelling the wart, but this is what I was talking about by being the wart. You can smell it. Well, it is witchcraft. <laughs> I have new. The extract kits are nice because you don't have to go through as much of the work, so you can actually. This 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 will brew about two and a half gallons of beer in one shot. Um, but you don't have to use the just these kits with it. They do sell the re re refill kits if you want to go this route, or you can you can uh, buy your own ingredients and, and use the fermenters from there. Oh, that's awesome. So it's a kit that will grow with you. And I've seen a lot of stuff on videos where guys are using, they're using um, the fermenters that you get uh, and using it for other things because it is a conical fer fer fermenter. So what you get in the bottom here is, uh, what you get is you get um, the trud sits at the bottom of the uh, fermenter here. So that way when you pour your, when you go to bottle your beer, um, it is in there or not in there? It's hot in there. <laughs> I can't reach in. I'm going to burn my fingers. <laughs> All right, so just stir that up a little bit. That's thorough. What we're going to do now is take this. We're going to put the lid back on one more time and give it another nice good slush around. That way, make sure it's really clean. And then we're going to get that stuff out of there. And then uh, we'll add, um, add about a gallon of water to it. And then uh, we'll pour our wort into our. Uh, fermenter here so so you just want to make sure that everything is nice clean and run some more water out of the spigot this is awesome this is my first time doing this make sure everything is real clean all right so now what we're going to do is crack it back open get all this stuff that's in there out of there so we can go ahead and we can go ahead and do our mixture. So we got everything out of there. So we can go ahead and we can pour this out. This is a no rinse solution, so you don't have to worry about rinsing it um, and getting everything out of there. It's a no rinse, so you're good to go. All right. So now if that's clean, we're gonna put it back up on here, as you guys can see. So we have our fermenter here. Um, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add about a gallon of water to it. This is uh, just um, filtered water. You want to use something that's, um, the better your water tastes, the better your beer tastes. If you have crappy well or um, chlorinated water and stuff, it'll taste kind of funky. So you want to make sure that um, the water you, you're using is decent. And we'll dry that off once we're done. Let me see the towel real quick. Get dry, so they don't drip all over the place. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wart here. And we're going to add it to our, our firm fermenter. So we can go ahead and uh, don't let that spoon touch anything. Just want to hold it for, for a few minutes. Okay. We're going to go ahead and pour this into here. Make sure all that's out of there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add, we're going to go ahead and there is marks on the back of here. Um, for your mark. So we're going to go up to uh, two gallons. We're going to top that off at two gallons, give it a good stir, and then we'll um, we'll pitch our yeast, put the cap on, put the bong and the stopper on, or the airlock, and then uh, it's ready to go. And then it just sits. And then it's going to sit for about, um, 
about 10 days. It, it, you can do it in a week, but the longer it sits, I, it, the, it says best results is better at, uh, at uh, two weeks. Okay. So I think we're going to give it like so 10, 10 to 14 days. Yeah, we're going to give it a, a, a little bit more time um, and go from there. So while this is filling up, I'm going to thank the guys over, over at Brew Demon yeah, again. Yeah, thanks, guys. And uh, we're going to be drinking this on, on the podcast. So, yeah, uh, we got to come up with a name. Yeah. We have an idea for that, though. Yeah. But uh, right now, it's it's their IPA signature series. It doesn't smell terrible like I thought. You know what I mean? It's just wort. You keep using that word like I'm supposed to know. That's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> so. I may look like a witch, but, you know, I don't know these things. Let's see what we get with this thing. We'll need a lot more. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more. Here, do you want to do that and I'll fill the water? Sure. Um, just go ahead and, and fill that. We need about another... Not a little bit. I'm just gonna, since this is sterile, I'm gonna go ahead and stir it in a little bit. Just kind of mix it in a little bit. You wanna make sure you get a good mixture. And wait again. And then we'll be ready to pitch our uh, yeast. So as soon as we get that done, we'll be ready to go. And like I said, you wanna bring it up to uh, the two gallon mark. Look at our temperature. Since we're adding cold water, our temperature should drop, which would be a good thing. We don't want the beer to be bottom. too warm. What's that? The top thermometer, so I might put it towards the bottom part. Yeah, I added the thermometer to the bottom because uh, that way I could see it a little bit better. Right now we are at 75 degrees around, so we're at a good temperature now to pitch our yeast. But once we get this up to the right amount, we'll go ahead and... Uh, Where's the line? Oh, there it is. It says two gallons on there. So, I need a little bit more. A little bit more. Stir that in a little bit. Really easy kit to follow. Um, the instructions are super easy in it. Um, you can make brownies, you, you can make this. Um, like I said, the key is just making sure that everything that your beer touches is sterile. Spoon, I, you see I'm not putting it down in there too far because um, I want to make sure that just that is, is in there. Uh, your, your, you want your spigot to be sterile, you want your, your lid to be sterile, and you want your airlock to be sterile. And actually, I'm going to put, I have some um, water in the airlock that's actually the uh, solution, the sterilizing solution, so I don't have to worry about that. I left some uh, water in there for that. And this should be enough. The mark a little bit low, but it's foamy. Let's see, I eh, throw a little bit more okay. in there just because a little extra won't hurt. Um, and like I said, the good thing about this kit is you can actually use this fermenter for other other things that you want to brew. I mean, if you want to do your own recipe, do an all grain, get some all, extra kits, you can do a lot of different things with them. The fermenter itself is, is a really nice fermenter, and I like the conical design because all that trud sits in the bottom there, which is below the spigot. So when you go to bottle your beer, you're not going to get any of that um, that's, that stuff, the sediment from the fermentation in your, in your bottles. So it's a good thing. Right. Perfect! Ha -ha. Nice, nice little stir. We're done with that now. Doesn't have to be sterile anymore? That has to be sterile. Oh. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we have our airlock. And as you can see, it's got a little bit too much water in it. Out. Some max lines. We're gonna take this cap here. We're gonna put this back on. Like I said, this is how you uh, tell that your beer's good. And then you can take this little thing here. It's gonna go in over here. Push that in. Push that on. Get down in there. Now we need our. No, we don't even need that. Now we need our two packets of yeast. You want to grab our yeast and go ahead. We'll pitch our yeast and then uh, we'll be all we'll be all done with it for now. So you want to make sure that when you're pitching your yeast, you don't, you got to make sure that you don't get anything uh, on the yeast itself. So we're just going to take both of those. You can open one up. Try not to let your hands touch anything. Or if my hands are clean, we wash them before ahead of time. And we're just going to take our yeast and just sprinkle it in there. And I mean, you can mix it. It doesn't say to mix it. I'm not really worried about mixing because we're going to move it from here somewhere else. And at that point, it'll mix itself. That's so. cool. The yeast. Yeah. We're gonna make sure you get all that yeast out of there because that yeast is what's gonna make your beer. So there's one packet all in there. Dump the other one in there. Ooh. All it. All good. 
Just didn't get it all. There's still yeah. some on the side. Okay. Now we're going to do take our sterile cap, put it on, screw it down, and then you're going to take, we got our airlock in, so we see that's good. Our temperature's at a good 78 degrees, so we're, closed. we're good there, spig is closed. Now the beer just needs to do its thing, so we're going to take it, we're going to put it somewhere. You don't have to um, stir the yeast in? No, nah, you don't really have to. When we go to move it, it's going to stir it. Oh, anyway. okay. And now the yeast is going to do its thing with the wort, and uh, it's going to heat up those sugars, and like tomorrow you start seeing a lot of foamies around the top. And I'll take pictures each day so people can see how, how it goes from there. Uh, but we're not going to open this or do anything with it. We're just going to set it aside and let it sit for 10 days and uh, keep watch our temperature. We don't want to get too low. Uh, it won't get too hot because it's going to winter time here. And then in uh, the next video, we'll be bottling it and Word. tasting it. So yep. we're gonna bottle, it. The next video is just going to be a one-shot video where we're going to bottle it. And then we're going to let that wait another, another week and then we'll drink it. Um, but it'll be one video for that. But that's pretty much it to the kit. And uh, we're going to talk about it on the podcast. So if you guys want to hear about it on the podcast, uh, we're going to be talking about it tonight. So yeah, this is fun. You can already start seeing the yeast in there doing yeah, its thing. So uh, I'm going to thank you guys over at Brew Demon again. You guys rock. Uh, thank we're, you. We're going to be making some thank beer um, with your kits, and we're going to be drinking it on the show. So I'm anxious to try this out. I want to see how this uh, beer tastes. So yeah. thanks again, guys. Thank and you. XDExperience.com.